Well, on a night where the Miami Heat seemed to all come together just at the right time for them, it was certainly bad timing for the Phoenix Suns. Obviously coming off an emotional high of back-to-back -back wins over the Lakers and the Nuggets. They go out to Miami and the triad heats up, including Chris Bosh, his best game as a member of the Miami Heat by far. In fact, he had 22 points at the half. Before this game, he had a season high of 21. And it wasn't only Bosh. You know, LeBron James did everything he needed to do, almost a triple-double, and they didn't even play nearly the whole game. And Dwayne Wade waited his turn until it was time for him to step up and be aggressive on offense. On the flip side, the Suns just had no answer. They couldn't stop those three guys. Their bench came in and didn't really do a great job after the starters stayed with them in the first quarter. Only a three-point game after one quarter of play. Second quarter, the Heat really took off and had their way offensively, and the Suns could not get it done both defensively or offensively. They only made three shots in the second quarter. That really did them in. Even though they made a nice little run in the third quarter, this was never a close game. And you have to look at it this way. There are going to be games like this for the Phoenix Suns. There are certainly going to be games like this for the Miami Heat. Everybody expected there to be more games like this for the Heat than there have been through 11 games so far, but they feel pretty good. This is their best one yet for the Suns. This is their worst, but they've got a quick turnaround and a chance to get that taste out of their mouth if they can go to Orlando and beat the Magic in game number 11 or 12 for the Phoenix Suns after starting out 6-5 and five so far this season.